crying and crying. Right. Right hey now. guys, Fable's being a drama queen right now, so I don't know what's going on in his neck of the woods. First, he made me watch stuff about the Dark Eldar, and that was Seth's video. Guys, I did... you don't understand, I'm dying. They're trying to survive in the Dark Eldar lands. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine, Fable. No, I'm dying. Oh my god, you Back need to, to calm control. down. Never. Anyway. Ugh. <sighs> We'll head off for hey people. Seth here. I've Today, never played. I actually was sure I said this earlier, but I've never played Dwarf Fortress or really know what this is. So, we're heading into this blind for me personally. A long-running cult classic that's still updated and developed to this very day. That is crazy. Chronicles the lives and accomplishments of stumpy alcoholics as they struggle to avoid sobriety. A game oh. where the most ludicrous events take place daily, where civilizations rise and fall just because someone left a Necronomicon in the public library. A game where I hate how that Necronomicon looks, but you never leave a Necronomicon in the public library. That's a terrible idea, right, Fable? Crying. Oh my god. You need to calm yes. down. Oop. Never. <laughs> You're not wrong. The Necronomicon is evil. They're always evil, Fable. The UI yeah. is so useless and convoluted that you'd honestly have an easier time playing Microsoft Excel. Well then. Uh, what the heck is this? Performance artist. Deep. Dark fantasy. I'm very confused on what's going on. Is this is this the intro to the game? I um wow. If it is, well, well obviously he's saying that stuff in, but yeah. Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress is less of a game and more of a complex fantasy world simulation made by okay. one guy over 20 years and probably for the rest of his natural and unnatural lifespan. As we oh, well then. Wait, there's still crap. He's still doing crowdfunding. My well, actually, that's expected. If he's making a game this long. And he's doing it all by himself. It's basically his day job Planned where he gets crowdfunded. Crowd Tarn Adams a synthetic body so he can oh. focus on what truly matters. Dwarf Fortress really is one of the greatest autism projects to ever blossom. Fun fact, huh. it's also the hardest game to run on PC. Wow, Even really? An seven processor chokes and dies the moment you forget to sterilize your cats. If Oof. not for the ever-increasing technological demands of Dwarf Fortress, AMD and Intel would be <laughs> bankrupt right now. To even begin playing Dwarf Fortress, you'll need some prescription medication. But more importantly, uh, you'll need a world to play in. So, okay. we create one, we set some parameters, and the game will then calculate 250 fucking years of history for this randomly generated world. And oh my god! That's kind of above oh, and beyond. Hey, wait, what do you say, Fable? Oh dear. Oh dear. And depending oh dear, on your oh computer, my. this may also take 250 years. Once the world is yeah, probably for my yours, computer. And like an abusive lover, she will caress and beat you senseless. And oh. each time, you'll come back for more. There's two main <laughs> game modes you can play in Dwarf Good Fortress. God. You can either choose to embark on distant lands and lead a fortress to ruin, or die mm. horrifically in the pursuit of adventure. I want to play as a horseshoe crab, man. Apparently. <laughs> what? That's what it says right here. I want to play as a horseshoe crab man. Fable, you need to say things so we know we are alive. But I'm not. I'm dying because of this video. <laughs> oh my sure. god, it's not Let's even... Let's cover fortress no. mode first. All you have to do is pick a nice place to embark, and that's about it. Despite okay. common myths, Dwarf Fortress isn't complicated. Just follow really? a couple of tutorials, and you'll be a seasoned veteran in no time. You should also okay. download and use the Lazy Noob Pack, because the game is almost unplayable without it. Oof. Some may disagree with this statement, but to put it simply, they're fucking wrong. These same people will disagree with my choice of 
of tile set or the fact that I use a tile set at all. To answer oh. these concerns and make this video that much easier to watch, I will be using all of the tile sets at random. Oh. In fortress mode, you start out oh. with seven dwarves, given the difficult task of establishing okay. civilization. The longer you survive and flourish, the more migrants will arrive from neighboring cities, attracted cool. by the promise of Basically your a city builder fortress. Somewhat. From there on, any number of things can happen. Disaster, tragedy, invasions, oh. and tantrum spirals, which threaten to end your fort at any given moment. Oh. And whether you live or die, just remember, losing is fun. It's impossible <laughs> to cover everything. I will say that losing is fun either way for me when I'm playing in RTS. That's the game, that's pretty much the game series I'm all, I'm okay with being, like, losing quite a few battles in. Think so, let me tell you some stories. The first fortress I ever founded was absolutely terrible. We <laughs> had no metal, so instead we fought with sticks and traded pottery for any possible scrap I mean, of you metal. Gotta start we somewhere. also lived in constant fear. There was a were zebra on what? the roof. He kept eating my chickens and trampling my dwarves. As oh. if I couldn't escape the furry menace in real life, <laughs> it torments me in my video games as well. It turned <laughs> out that the were zebra was a human what? musician who plays at my tavern, so I let him stay and snap a few chicken necks every month. The place was oh, actually I, quite successful. Okay, but Apparently, he's willing to deal with the were zebra. Fable, have you ever fought a were zebra? Uh, can't say I've ever fought a were zebra, no. That's surprising. Five years on and no major invasions. What the hell? Mm. I asked my friend, who knows Dwarf Fortress, to take a look. He came mm. back shocked and told me, You're not at war with the goblins. How? I had no <laughs> idea. My fortress was a place of culture and learning, of drunken mm -hmm. revelry and international oh, diplomatic dear. renown. Things Life are gonna go proceeded bad. as normal. And then, one day, one of my guests of honor, a legendary human wrestler, had too much to drink and went into a murderous rage. He oh. proceeded to grab a goblin dancer and pulled off her lower <laughs> jaw. As she was screaming, he began thrashing her with her oh own God. jawbone. The situation quickly deteriorated oh as she God. retaliated back. My other dwarves, upon seeing that a man was under attack and, fearing for his life, used appropriate self-defense to remove the assailant's ability I... to chew food. Hey then. <laughs> what the hell? I, I don't. <laughs> Launched into a furious brawl. It was a oh. bloodbath that marked the beginning of a race riots. Every oh goblin my in my fortress was slaughtered. For our acts of racial cleansing, the goblins had declared war on us. One we couldn't mm. win. And all because some retard couldn't handle his mushroom wine. Oh Several my god. Several months later, my fortress mushroom was swallowed wine. by the green horde. Yeah, apparently a mushroom wine is a thing. Aren't those... Yeah, those are goblins riding on sharks. I'm pretty sure this is old Warhammer fantasy. Those who weren't murdered walled themselves off, went crazy and consumed each other. The rest oh. starved to death. Dwarf Fortress, a fun, light-hearted experience Wonderful. for the whole family. My second fortress fared slightly oh, better, dear. until I dug too deep. My oh. Third? Well, we all know how this ends yeah. already, right? Well, it's fared slightly better, until I dug... You have discovered an era cavern in the air. The dark stone floor is living with... The a bombless glowing pits mark the surface. Deep, well, we all know well, how this ends already, right? One of my no. dwarves got possessed, so I walled off his workshop, forgot about it, and accidentally opened up his crypt oh. in the middle of town. The nauseous fumes from his hot, decomposing body erupted across several levels, Ew. driving everyone insane from oh. the sight and stench of his swollen cadaver. In the chaos, a mother dropped her toddler into a shallow pool of water. The child drowned, causing the mother to go into a tantrum and attack an experienced axe dwarf, who decapitated her. The what? dead bodies caused more tantrums, which would result in even more dead bodies, <laughs> which know. eventually reduced my population to a single person, a single axe dwarf, who okay. was now considered legendary, having what gained the... enough experience from beheading everybody else. I don't... I, I just... I don't understand anything, to be honest. Right, it just reminds me of a thing from anime where he says, where someone, t where someone asks the what is it? Grail Coon, Grail Coon. I want to become a hero, but they say I can. Here! Hero Maker Knife! Kill a thousand people, then you'll become a hero. Because you'll be well known, apparently. 
my fourth attempt was actually fine. The fortress still stands as a grisly reminder of why we have health and safety. <laughs> I read online somewhere that you could train your dwarves extremely quickly by constructing a danger room. The idea oh. is simple. We put a dwarf in a room filled with traps, we activate them, and oh our my God, I saw that, will Seth. gracefully dodge and block every single one of them. But this process wasn't fast enough, so we replaced the traps with coins. We what? the lever and 500 freshly <laughs> minted coins would hard Harmlessly ricochet at high speed across the room, turning our dwarves into professional soldiers instantly. That's a terrible idea. Fable, how do you think this is gonna go? Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go really badly to be. To be However, honest, it didn't work. 500 coins suddenly ricocheted at high speed and destroyed my dwarf's windpipe. Even the best surgeons available couldn't operate quick enough to restore oxygen supply. The cause there of death go. was ruled to be asphyxiation by legal tender. Ooh. Not to be dissuaded, I tried to optimize coin training. I made my men wear five layers of cotton okay. around their necks. The results, several women were now widows, and about a dozen men were now buried without a throat. It turns oh, out coins are very dangerous. Attempt number five, my current and final fortress. One day, I receive a notification. One of my master engravers had just <laughs> sculpted a masterpiece on the dining room wall. Okay. I find the engraving and read the description. He just sculpted a drawing of himself stabbing another dwarf. <laughs> and soon after, he actually stabbed him. What an absolute <laughs> lad. This was also about the time I decided to embark on a haunted biome. And my personal advice, don't do that. Nothing dies okay. on a haunted biome. The moment you kill an animal, it gets back up. The Ugh. moment you chop off a limb, it gets possessed and tries to choke you. Oh. Did you know this applies to shellfish and crustaceans as well? I didn't, oh, no. but I've just lost a good fisherman to an undead pile of lobster Oh shells. no, if that's Jinji like Ito stuff. That was... I forget what the name of that anime. It was something fish. It was fish crawlers or something. It's horrifying. Don't look it up. Yeah, that sounds about right. Too much to handle, then you can play Adventure Mode instead. Adventure Mode lets you design and control a single character that can interact with, influence, and shape the world. Once again, it's mm. impossible to cover everything. So, instead, I'll share some of my character's exploits. The very first character I ever made was a human, locally renowned for his acts of heroism. I didn't know the controls and didn't really care. I spent my entire time accusing children of being vampires and throwing silver at them until they died. No one dared intervene in my righteous crusade against darkness. Oh my god, why? <laughs> He's just throwing silver at kids. <laughs> And calling the vampire. Was actually a vampire uh, against darkness. Incidentally, one of the people I accused was actually a vampire who proceeded to kill me instantly to get rid of the evidence. My Makes second sense. character was a cobalt who had successfully oh. integrated with modern civilization. To demonstrate how integrated I was, I immediately assassinated the king. To my uh -oh. surprise, the guards didn't even care. My reward for committing regicide was monarchy. I had uh. become the new ruler of this kingdom. I spent the rest of my career spreading rumors that the previous king was murdered by myself. Everyone refused to believe it and said I, the king, was full of shit. My <laughs> That's just great, honestly. I can only laugh at some of this stuff the because it's so insane. managed to find a really nice book, a book of necromancy, oh. which I generously donated to one of my fortress libraries. After retiring from adventuring and checking up on the place, I was pleasantly surprised to find the place overrun with undead. Then, Not I got surprised. bored and installed some lore-friendly mods. Currently, I'm playing mm. as Vegeta, a local oh Saiyan God. prince who accidentally used instant transmission Hello, to teleport to hell. There, I learned that the wrestling system in Dwarf Fortress is extremely elaborate, allowing Vegeta to choke hold demons while he plucks out their necks. After returning from the underworld, Vegeta spent several hours vomiting on townspeople and indirectly killed a child by doing push-ups. How is that possible? Uh, transformation and teleport. I don't know, this game seems really weird. It has a lot of possibilities, but obviously it's not very uh, visual. I sometimes wish visual games, but I sometimes wish games like this were more visual, but then again, it would be a lot harder, obviously.
Later that day, an elvish serf refused to yield to the Saiyan prince who Oof. rejected his generous <laughs> demands for both of his shoes in exchange for his life. <laughs> Just loves doing the craziest stuff in these games, I swear to God. Meh. Now, I'm not very good at Dragon Ball Z lore, but I don't remember Vegeta being able to make Destructo Discs, but well. who gives a shit? In this mod, he can. Actually, this reminds me, since a lot of my playing, uh, a lot of my friends are playing Sparking Zero now, it can literally do anything. <laughs> I don't think Vegeta can literally do anything dead, unfortunately. This is something you need to know. So, I decapitated a bunch of elves with energy discs and <laughs> turned into a giant ape. Then I got uh, drunk and crawled on the floor, stealing people's genitals. In what? case you haven't figured this out already, Dwarf Fortress is an amazing game. And not only that, it's unique. There's nothing quite like it. Hmm. It's a sandbox and you make your own fun. And if you get that bored is always sand, great. there's a billion mods out there. Which I do the always love sandboxes where you can literally make your own fun. Like, make your own adventure. Tell your own story, basically. I don't think Fable's still here. But yeah. Intricate and entertaining. Sure, it's hard to get into. But then again, I'm alive. So are nursing homes. I give it a perfect score. Perfection uh. is subjective, which is why everyone will see something different. Or yeah. something gay. As <laughs> always, more content. Oh my to come, god. So stay Seth. tuned. This video oh comes out much later than expected. What's up with that, Seth? You lazy schmuck. You've not even taken our money since November. Truth be told, I oh. took a corporate position in December. Really? Then I realized I can do a hundred times more by myself. Oh, so, this is how I'm going this all in. Fiber. Seth is going full time. A warm thanks to the many I wish I could go full time, but I mean. generously funding and bankrolling these know. videos. You're all truly wonderful. I missed oh. the chance to say this before. What the so hell is going Merry on in Christmas, his Discord? Happy Hanukkah and have a happy new year. Well then, what did you think of Dwarf Fortress Fable? It's insane. It's insane, but that's kind of the draw of some of these games, isn't it? Like, you can literally do anything. It's like being in your own little D&D &D campaign, except there's no writer. And you kind of just do what you want. Fable? Yeah, I heard you, my dude. Yeah, sometimes if, when you don't respond, I worry a little. I worry it's like, it's, I'm fine. They don't sound fine. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. I'm fine. Dies lit. You can't die before me. That's illegal. But yeah, no. Dual Forces seems like a fun game if you're interested in possibly chaos or getting into fights with a bunch of goblins for some reason. I do want to create a sort of sandbox game where you can do what I want. I've already talked about the Overlord style game that I want to make. And I'm in the process of getting things started. It's just taking time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You sounded like Courage the Cowardly Dog there for a second. Oh my goodness. Anyway. For those who like our stuff, consider following, consider subscribing, consider doing all that nice stuff you do for streamer, like the video, and I'll, um, I don't know, watch more crazy stuff. Anyway, thank you all so much, and I'll see you all later.